Yo, what's going on YouTube? Jen Moses here back with a Christmas Eve My Team video. Uh, wow, I really got two MT short of the max. That's hilarious. Um, I just wrapped up my last clutch time offline game um, of the night. Uh, and it's a pretty monumental win total, I have to say, that I hit tonight. Um, I also hit a goal that I set for myself of hitting this win total in clutch time offline. Uh, and that win total is 500. 500 wins. Um, my final clutch time offline team, and I know I've changed it a good amount. I've changed it again since my last video covering, um, it wasn't even directly covering what I've been doing in Clutch Time Offline. It's been more so me just talking about something else happening in my team and then me sort of mentioning that I've made a change to my lineup. Um, I believe the last lineup I showed you guys had uh, Ben Simmons at point guard. I've now, for this you know latter stretch of my Clutch Time Offline run for Hakeem Olajuwon, I've switched over to the new Emerald Dyson Daniels uh, this card is so good defensively, and he comes with Gold Dimer, which has been really nice because I don't know when this happened, and maybe this is just me, um, but I, I don't think it is because I've seen some people on Twitter and the My Team subreddit complain about this. Um, it seems like 2K tweaked shooting again um, because it took me a hot minute to get used to shooting with Corver, um, like it normally does whenever I don't use Kyle Corver for a while. Uh, but this weekend when I tried to use him in Triple Threat Offline, I realized that I was having to hold down um, the X button on Xbox to shoot longer than I usually have to hold it down. And the same thing with B-Pod. So uh, that's why I went 6 for 9, which is a very nice number, uh, uh, in this uh, in this game. Um, so I don't know what's happening there, but uh, I mentioned Dyson Daniels to say that him coming with Gold Dimer is really clutch for getting those greens. But yes, game number, or I should say win number 500, complete. Uh, let's see if we get anything good out of the door mini game. A badge pack. We're going to go to the left. And we get 1250 MT. That right there is a perfect example of why uh, you really should be playing Clutch Time offline. Um, we're going to talk about the um, the holiday event in a second. I just wanted to very, very briefly. Um, sorry, I have my notes saved on my phone here. I want to try to keep this concise because I know I usually don't keep these videos concise. Um, I started this grind for Hakeem when I was roughly at 1 million MT. Um, and now I'm almost at 1.3 million, and I know that the majority of this MT came from Clutch Time Offline, but all of it didn't come from Clutch Time Offline, right? I've been doing my exhibitions um, at least five or six times a week. Uh, ideally, I try to get it done all seven days, but you know, sometimes, you know, you get busy, you know, the days overlap and you just don't have time to get on and do your exhibitions, or you just forget. I've forgotten to do them a lot <laughs> this season or this year so far in my team. Uh, but the exhibitions are really nice. They add up because, you know, you have five of them and more times than not, you end up getting MT and, you know, 3,000 MT here and there over the course of like a couple months, stuff like that. It helps. It helps. So, um, and then I have done the 25K um, exchange from the, uh, the holiday exchanges, which I do want to talk about first and foremost as we now segue into this holiday event. Um, for those of you that don't know... The 25k MT that we get from the exchange is repeatable, unlike the Thanksgiving events 25k MT exchange. However, it's once you do it, uh, it's repeatable every five days, which I don't really love. I kind of wish they made it, you know, maybe one day would have been a little too generous, but I think three would have been fine because they gave us 16 days um, for this 25k. So. With me, you know, and I, I started this kind of late because, you know, I started putting presents into the Patrick Ewing exchange and I hit 15 and then I saw someone on the subreddit say that the uh, the reset is, I'm sorry, no, I, I can't even give the subreddit credit. I got to give my boy Harry credit. Harry texted me and said that the 25K uh, exchange is every five days. So I tried to get some, uh, some more presents in on Saturday night and I was able to get just enough right before bed um, to get the exchange done around uh, midnight or 11 p.m. whenever it was but now I have to basically be ready <laughs> at, uh, at 11 p.m. again um, and then I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do that exchange three times because I think uh, the third time I would do it I think I'm going to be traveling that weekend so uh, I mean it's fine honestly even if I get the exchange done twice 50k is, is awesome and uh, I don't really know how much I'm going to be playing uh, when it comes to triple threat offline and stuff like that because that stuff does get boring because now that i have the hakeem grind done which let's just let's just knock that part out right here 
Where is he? There he is. Pink Diamond Hakeem. What a grind. What a grind. I mean, it's been, what, 23 days, I want to say? Because we have 18 days left. I believe the season started three weeks ago from this past Friday. So, I think, if, I mean, 23 days, I can do that math very, very quickly. Because it's 500 clutch time offline wins. Right? I should have done this math ahead of time. But 500 divided by 23, that's 21 games a day, which that is crazy. Um, I was very lucky to have been off this last week. And uh, every year around this time of year, um, I usually take a staycation because um, I usually end up having a few days left um, in vacation days that I can't roll over to next year. And uh, I was basically really just taking it easy, catching up on you know appointments here and there. And that gave me you know, a few days that I was off where I was able to, you know, really put in like a couple of hours to really grind out clutch time offline games. And, you know, with the method that I've put out on YouTube, I've been getting 10 games done in an hour, basically. And that was really, really helpful. So, you know, 21 games per day seems like a lot. But I think on the days that I was able to play, you know, while watching, let's say, uh, you know, football on a Sunday, which if you guys play fantasy, hope you did better than I did, because I think I blew it in both of my my playoff matchups. But it's fine. It is what it is. Fantasy football is all about luck. At least that's what I told myself, so I don't drink. Um, but I was able to basically find time to grind for a team is what I'm trying to say. I don't want to ramble on about that way too much. Um, I do want to talk about when it comes to um, grinding out the holiday event, because um, I don't know what it's been for you guys, but and I have, I have a few of these holiday packs. Um, the hell? Okay, let me open this up really quickly. Don't know why I have this. Probably from Triple Threat Offline. Um, when it comes to the... Um, the holiday packs is this a new player uh, i don't have harrison bonds yeah okay cool nice new player um when it comes to these holiday packs i've noticed i've gotten roughly two coal for every one present and i feel like that's the consensus like this is not going to be coal or a present i haven't gotten too many consumable items as we get jared jeffries who i already have and i don't think i can put you into an exchange for like an emerald player or anything right uh, 2k needs to give us more exchanges because this is uh this is not great yeah they're both unsellable which is fine it's whatever um the best player that i think i packed from one of these is like an emerald from the uh i think i pulled a Bilal Koulibaly from the most recent test of season collection that came out on friday um but yeah i've been getting two coal for everyone present it seems like this is gonna be coal yep um so what i recommend that you should do if you're trying to be um proactive with your time because you only get as you get coal again uh you only get five present exchanges for coal um per hour um which is a little annoying i kind of wish it was unlimited but it is what it is okay we're just not i don't want the nutcracker ball man i already have this put this in the exchange for a holiday ball pack um you should try to i mean i would i would personally oh my god i opened up the wrong pack we're a mess was a diamond the sh diamond shoe boost pack let's just pick a few things really quickly i am so sorry i was like spamming a uh are any of these oh my god these are all awful uh oh my god these all suck except for the lateral quickness we'll go driving dunk we'll go pass accuracy oh that's it that's cool okay um i would do triple third offline that's what i was trying to say for the last minute do triple third offline and try to get a bunch of these holiday event packs. I mean, I showed you guys how I've been doing it in my most recent My Team video. Basically going out there with Kyle Korver and two people that can set screens. I've actually changed that lineup now too. Um, all right, are we just not... Are we just not getting presents anymore? I mean, this looks even worse than what I thought. I mean, I actually had a solid run earlier. Uh, I played a little bit this morning. And I was pretty lucky in getting uh, a few presents in a row. And I feel like now I'm regressing back to the mean. I'm not getting any presents now. And as I say that, here's a present right here. Cool. Um, but basically, you can see here, I'm getting basically two, two pieces of coal for every one present. That's what it looks like. Um, so do your TT offline games. Try to get as, as many of these packs as possible so you can get these presents. And anytime you get coal, you can throw the coal into the exchange, which I should have done now, but kind of want to keep this video moving. I um, just want to open a couple more of these. I've seen some people on the subreddit pull some crazy, crazy heat out of these. You know, as we get Charlie Ward, who have packed now like 20 trillion times. Um, not from this event, but just like in the past with level up packs and whatnot. But once you get all of your exchanges done, or 
once you're bored of playing triple threat offline um because tt offline is definitely the best way to get these holiday packs i would move on to clutch time offline you know i've played obviously a ton of clutch time offline because that's how i got my hakeem elijah one and i feel like if you're able to do clutch time offline you know as quickly as i've done it if not quicker you know there are ways that you can you know speed up the game i think uh like you can increase the game speed someone on one of my videos commented saying that they were doing that and uh, i was afraid of doing that because i, I didn't want to mess up the muscle memory i have for my player shots and i may if i still play close i'm offline for mt go back and do that because i want to get the games done quicker and maybe that'll help me with the shot releases because right now i'm bricking everything um a lot of coal this run um the other reason why i would do clutch time offline is that in my opinion from my experience I've noticed that I've been getting a lot more of these uh, 23, 24 NBA season rewind packs. And these have been pretty good because I've been getting a lot of Sapphire and Ruby cards. And basically, as long as you don't pull an Emerald, whatever cards you get, you can throw into the exchange. Now, albeit you do have to wait, you know, an hour for both the base Tista season future pack and the deluxe one to, you know, cool down. Here, we're going to get an Emerald player, which is fine. I think we have one more of these. As we get oh we get terrence mann who was the last emerald that i was waiting for i think that's so funny terrence mann is one of the players i was thinking of buying when i was early on in my clutch time offline run to throw him into my lineup in place of at the time i think i had i had corver and then i ran emerald sean elliott and then i ran uh brandon podjemski i ran craig porter for a little bit maybe now i'll try terrence mann i still plan on playing clutch time offline you saw when i wrapped up my last clutch time offline game to get akeem you know, you get 1200 MT roughly for playing, and then you get, um, I got 1250 MT from the door minigame. So, you know, basically 1250 MT in six minutes of playing is, I think, pretty good. You know, 2400 in six minutes is great, I think. So we're going to take this Isaiah Joe. We're going to throw him into this exchange here. So with that, I wrote down how many of each of these packs I have. I now have nine deluxe packs, and I have eight base packs. And I wanted to rip all of these and then rip more of these packs as I continue to go through the um, the holiday event and see if I can get any of the players from the, the Victor Wembanyama set. You know, outside of these equal chance packs, which I'll open this one at the end of the video because we know it's going to be an amethyst. Excuse me. We're going to start with these base packs, though. Um, again, I covered it in the last video. If you were to do, as we get a gold here, which is great. Uh, Al Horford, who I have. Awesome. Uh, do I want to throw you into an exchange? No, I'm just going to, I'm going to just quick sell. I could put them into exchanges and work my way up getting a Sapphire to put into another base pack, but it's just not worth it. Another holiday event pack. We'll get this out of the way. Um, I forgot. I totally lost my train of thought here. Let's get another present. Oh, we got a bailout. Are you kidding me? Man, I got hoodwinked. Um, yeah, I mean, I I mentioned in the previous video, the Victor Wembanyama said if you complete all of these agendas as we get a holiday ball and an emerald, is it going to be an emerald from the collection? Uh, no, it's Zion Williamson. Great. Uh, that's really fun. Mariah Mills' favorite uh, NBA player. Uh, do I want to add you to the exchange? Okay, I do have another Sapphire. I'm going to do this. I'm not going to open this now because I have to wait an hour for that base pack. To free up anyway so um but yeah i mean the way i treat these base packs am i gonna pull anything um anything good you know probably not but you just want a chance right i just want a bite of the apple plus you get these ornament balls which i keep getting the same ornament balls from like the same five teams it's it's so annoying it's really really annoying um so i want to save all these deluxe packs for the end because we know we'll be getting players from them um i really wish they would give us more exchanges man what do we get here we get ruby bob pettit so that's really nice because i already have bob pettit and again that's out of a base pack so now i can take bob pettit and i can put him into the deluxe so that gives us one more deluxe pack i think that puts us now at like nine or ten of these deluxe packs um which is pretty dope so let's go ahead and finish up our base packs here I think it is pretty dope that like in basically like a you know what is it, it's a coach oh, it's a pistons basketball that's great uh, we get the Montes Sabonis. bonus 
would sell everything. It's fine. One MT for basketball is great. Thank you, 2K. Um, it is nice, though, that I was able to get all these packs just from grinding out the game. Um, you know, not having to spend the MT, which I know I have a lot of MT, but I'd rather save that MT, personally. We get Doug Collins, who I already have. And there's no exchange for him either, I believe. That's worth putting into. So that sucks. I have to quick sell unless the one I have is sellable and he's not. So I'm going to go ahead and quick sell him, which is great. Okay, my uh, unopened pack starts spazzing. That's exciting. Any more base packs? We have one more base pack, I think. Two more base packs. Okay, two more. Um, if you're watching this video, let me know down below if you added Wemby, if you're planning on adding Wemby. Um, I'm on the fence. I've seen a few gameplay videos of him. And, like, I am happy to see that he's not some game-breaking card. I think he clearly is the best player in my team right now. But he's not... He's not nearly as glitchy as I thought it was going to be. I was worried he was going to break the game. I don't think I have that Trailblazers ball or Auto Porter. All right, cool. All right, so the Deluxe Packs are up next. So I think we got what? We got two players out of like the seven or eight from the base packs. Um, so let this serve as a reminder that you should never rip base packs. It's, especially now that rubies are so cheap. It just doesn't make sense for you to rip base packs. You get a ruby. But I think it's a Ruby... Yeah, it's a Ruby coach. Darvin, we get Walker Kessler. So we get one of the players from this collection, which is really nice, even if it's just a Sapphire. Um, I already have Darvin Ham. That's really nice only because it's so rare, I think, to pull players um, from this collection. Because even though it says Tista Season Future Deluxe, you're going to get a player from any of the Tista Season collections, which is a little annoying. Um, it'll be nice to pull the LaMarcus Aldridge. I know he's the deal of the day today, but we get a Ruby. I already used my exchange up. We get Brandon Roy, who I already have. I think I already have him as a yeah, as an unsellable, so we're going to sell all for 750 Come on, 2K. I would love to see a shake in one of these packs. It's Christmas. Basically, I mean, it's Christmas Eve. A lot of Rubies. Of course, I'm going to get all the rubies now. We get Jalen Williams, another player from the Tista Season Future set. I mean, maybe we have higher odds of pulling someone from the Tista Season Future collection in these deluxe packs. Maybe. I would hope so. <laughs> I don't know, man. Who knows? There's no fucking way. All right, I don't even know who who I want this to be. I am so shocked. Wow. Uh, are there any Diamond Raptors players? Is, is this a sign? Is there a Diamond Warriors player? I can't, dude. My my brain just went blank. I mean, if this is Lamelo Ball, Anthony Edwards, or Evan Mobley, I may have to build Wemby. Let's see who we get. Small forward. Did we get Andre Iguodala? What the fuck? <laughs> I mean... Okay. Okay. Not who I was expecting. I guess that, uh... That Warriors, uh... That Warriors floor was, a uh, Was a, a teaser. We got Iggy. That's crazy. Was not expecting a diamond pull at all. Um, man, kind of wish it was a diamond from this collection, but beggars can't be choosers. That is my first diamond pack pull of the year. So glad we got it on video. Let, let me share. Am I recording? Oh, thank, thank goodness I am. All right. I was not going to be greedy and ask for another shake. Could we get the other emerald from the Tista Season Future collection that I don't have? We got Bilal Koulibaly earlier, which is fine. We'll just quick sell everything. How many more of these do we have? All right, we have five left. And then we have our Amethyst equal chance pack. Man, can't believe we got Iggy. Got to give Iggy a shot. Get a Ruby. Uh, Andre Drummond, who I already have, which is fine. Uh, really sucks that I don't have that exchange available to me right now. Kind of wish 
I know wish 2K would, uh, you know, give us that exchange consistently without us having to wait an hour, but it is what it is. Final four packs. Can we get one more shake? Am I greedy for asking for one more shake? The answer is yes, but still. Flip all. We get, we get Franz Wagner, which is awesome. I already have him. I got him from my equal exchange pack. This card is awesome, by the way. I think, I mean, not a hot take at all. He's going to be one of the best. Like him and Jalen Suggs, one of the best set of uh, salary cap cards. Um, if their salary comes down enough. Which, I don't know, it may not. Because rubies are so cheap now. They're probably going to be pretty expensive for a really long time. Okay, looks like we have cooled off. We get Dennis Johnson, who I don't have. I kind of wanted Dennis Johnson, though, because, again, not to keep bringing up salary cap, but I like to have a point guard who's a little more defensive-minded sometimes, at least to run off the bench. And I feel like because his three ball is pretty low, I think it's like, what, like 70 or something? No one's going to really run him. Um, but I'm sick in the head. I'd run him. I'd run him in salary cap. Derek Lively, that's the last Emerald. I get the Okay, thanks, 2K. Really was looking forward to getting the green yellow ball collection done during the holidays. All right, last pack for the equal chance pack. Um, this has been a pretty big success, I think. We pulled a number of rubies, um, one that I did not have. Uh, we get a sapphire here to end it off. We get Jeremy Sochan, who I don't have. So we actually got a number of the players from the um, from the Wemby collection. Uh, we did not get any of the amethysts or the diamonds from that collection, although we did pack Iggy, which is really nice. Um, but we are going to get an amethyst from this collection um, right now. I'm trying to think who the amethysts are. I feel like... Let me take a look because I'm, I'm forgetting. Player market. So you have Jalen Green, who's interesting to me. Scoot Henderson looks like a budget Russell Westbrook. And then that's it. So it's literally one of these two. All right, that's cool. Well, we're gonna get one of these and then we'll see how much this collection will cost me um but let's go ahead and uh rip that pack this video is definitely going on much longer than i wanted it to i apologize for that uh but let's go ahead and open this up yeah it's an equal chance pack between two amethysts and i think i I'd, I'd like to have them both equally on my team i'm really not like crazy about either i mean maybe jalen green because i think i may have his card for the dynamic duo but we get scoot henderson which is really dope because he has 98 speed. So Scoot is here. I can't get that excited about Scoot. I was, you know, all my excitement kind of petered out after I got Andre Iguodala. I cannot believe I packed Iggy. That is crazy. <laughs> uh, I guess maybe he'll be my, my bench point guard. Maybe I'll do something like this. I'm sorry, my, my bench shooting guard. To try him out at some point. Andre Iguodala, that, that is really dope. That is really, really dope. Um, hopefully, he plays well for us. We'll give him a shot. Um, you can see my lineup is desperately in need of an upgrade, but I'm not really playing online right now. So, um, especially the way my team is right now, where there is no resale value on anything that you buy. Once you purchase, you know, uh, once you complete a set or you purchase a player, um, especially if you lock that player in or you lock in players to get a lock in player. Um, your MT sunk. It's gone. You're basically married to that player. I don't want to say you're married to that collection, but you know, like if I were to get Wemby, I would only get Wemby if I knew for a fact that I would run Lamelo Ball and I'd have you know Anthony Edwards. And now the fact that I got Iguodala, I'm not going to say that Iguodala is going to rule out Wemby for me, but I definitely don't need Anthony Edwards anymore. And I like this Jimmy Butler card a lot right now. So my my two guards are basically set. So we'll see. I mean. Not complaining at all. I'm, again, almost at 2.3 million MT. It's just a matter of, do I really want to get Wemby or do I want to just wait a little bit and see what else we get? I kind of want to wait to see what we get on Wednesday as part of the uh, the update to the holiday event, whatever that part two is going to look like. I don't know if they're going to add another player. Um, I think it would be kind of cool if they put Jeremy Lin, who was uh, the diamond card that we got as part of this, like, Black Friday sale in my team that was really really scummy because the card was never available in my team but they marketed it to us as oh you're getting this card at a discount but how could it be at a discount if it was never in the market in the first place anyways it would be really nice to see that card available to grind for because i feel like there couldn't have been that many people that bought jeremy lynn and if you bought jeremy lynn on black friday and you're that butthurt that it's available in this event 
a month later. I don't know what to tell you, man. Just like, I'm sorry that you spent your money, but you, you, you gotta just be better. You gotta just be better. That's all I can say. Um, anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed, uh, oh, wait a minute. How could I forget? Well, Jared Allen is an absolute dog. Um, we got Hakeem, baby. Hakeem is home. Hakeem is home. And, um, I'm happy about that. We'll maybe get a gameplay out with him. Maybe later on tonight or tomorrow morning, probably tomorrow morning. Um, just cause I'm tired. <laughs> Um, anyways, hope you enjoyed. Once again, to those of you that do celebrate, have a very Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Uh, if you're, you know, with family, enjoy that time. Um, and uh, hopefully you're off from school tomorrow as well. And, you know, I mean, most of you are probably off from school this upcoming week. I have to go back to work on Tuesday, unfortunately. But for those of you that are in the workforce like me, enjoy what's probably your last day off unless you're off for vacation this week. Um, so enjoy it. Take care. Good luck on your grinding. Hopefully, if you get a few of those test of season deluxe packs, you can get a diamond that's maybe even better than the Iggy. Maybe get a diamond that goes towards the Wemby set, and that'll help you get Wemby. So, um, wishing you all the best. Take care. Until next time, I'll see you later.